spectacular campsites on the most remote of tracks to the workshop and everything in between. Your next episode of Great Off-Road Adventures is just seconds away. Hey guys, it's Graham from Great Off-Road Adventures. Welcome to another video. This one here, I'm gonna run you through a Christmas present uh, that my parents bought me, and that was an all-for-adventure spun steel camp oven. So this is what we got from the team at All For Adventure. We got uh, volume one, about that much cookbook from Jace, and the camp oven. So it comes in a nice canvas bag, comes with your um, not quite welding gloves, but uh, obviously your heat proof gloves for handling the oven. The oven itself, so I believe this is a, a 10 quarts spun steel camp oven. Obviously the top lid and a trivet and then obviously the base. Um, I specifically selected spun steel over cast iron purely just due to weight um, because cast iron is very heavy compared to spun steel um, and also durability. Uh, cast iron has a tendency to uh, crack and fracture uh, if you drop it onto something firm like uh, rocks or concrete, etc. Uh, whereas spun steel is a lot more durable. So they were the main two reasons. Um, and yeah, I was fortunate enough that uh, I managed to drop enough hints to my parents and this is what they got me for Christmas. Now, obviously, um, before you use your camp oven for the first time, you need to season it. Uh, so I figured why not run you through that process now too. So um, let's take the oven um, and the trivet and we'll just go inside. We've got to wash off all the uh, manufacturing oil and residue um, just in laundry sink with some hot water and mild detergent. Uh, then we'll dry it and we'll come out here um, and we will season it. But what we're doing to clean the camp oven before we season it, um, we're just using uh, our dishwashing detergent and we're just running a warm sink full of water and just gonna wash it like you're sort of washing the dishes. All you're doing is you're just taking off the manufacturing oil residue from when it was manufactured. You wanna wash everything, so inside and outside of the oven to take the residue off. And then afterwards, you wanna dry it really well as well, so. We'll just work our way through it methodically, one piece at a time. Um, and yeah, include the trivet when you do your washing too. Um, just one thing to note, whilst we work our way through this procedure, is um, this same process can be done regardless of what type of camp oven you got. Whether it's cast iron, spun steel, um, it's exactly the same uh, in terms of preparing it and seasoning it. So if you've got a cast iron camp oven or you've received one recently as a gift and you're gonna set it up for winter, same procedure regardless. What we'll do is we'll skip through the next part. We'll see you outside once we've uh, dried it off and we're ready to start seasoning it. Well guys, having now uh, washed the camp oven and dried it, uh, whilst we were doing that, we had the barbecue preheating. The barbecue is big enough to fit the big camp oven. Um, our oven would maybe just fit it, but um, it takes longer to heat up, doesn't get as hot. The like barbecue can go up to 250 degrees, and ideally that's around the temperature you wanna be um, sort of seasoning your camp oven at. So with a little bit of paper towel, now what you've got to do is um, grab your cooking oil. We use, um, you could use butter for this um, or your traditional um, cooking oil and stuff, but we elected to use our um, rice bran oil because we found that it doesn't burn and smoke off um, at, it does, but it does it at a much, much higher temperature. So it's much better for, for this sort of thing. Um, so, just drizzle a little bit of oil on the top of your lid. Grab your paper towel. 
and um, you're just gonna literally wipe it over every surface like you did cleaning the camp oven. So all the way around the outside. That's the lid done. Set it down. Down I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit more oil on the inside of the camp oven. I'm gonna season the trivet as well. And whilst we're doing this, we're noticing obviously there's still a bit of um, discoloration going on with our paper towel. And that's just oil and stuff that's actually been trapped in the metal of the oven that's working its way out. And we'll notice that when we season it, um, you're, just, you're gonna have a bit of discoloration like that. It's perfectly normal. All right. Now the base of the oven's done as well, so we'll assemble it as if we're gonna use it. And um, we'll move our way over to the barbecue now. We'll set it in. We'll get it up to temperature. It's already been preheating. And it's gonna go in there for about, about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, well barbecue's up at 250 degrees. And set it in there. And uh, yeah, we'll check it in about 10 minutes now. Well guys, it's been in there for 15 minutes now at, it's sat about 230 to 250 degrees. I've just adjusted it. As you can see now, it's got this like dark golden color on it, which means that it's been seasoning um, quite well. Maybe a little bit warmer than I would have liked. But what we'll do is just bring it over here where we can uh, set it down. I'm just gonna set it down and let it cool now because uh, what we have to do is put more oil on it and rub it, season it a second time, and then bake it in a barbecue a second time. Um, at the end of the second time, that's when you've got a, um, a well-seasoned camp oven. So I'm gonna let this cool down, and then I'm gonna season it again, barbecue it again, and I'll speak to you once I've done all that again, because it's literally the same as what we've just done, where we just rubbed the oil over it and put it in the, in the barbecue. So I'll see you in probably half an hour or so. Got to cool down and cook it again. Well, that finishes up how to season your camp oven. We've uh, roasted it, this oiled it and roasted it the second time, pulled it out, let it cool. So um, it's just cool enough to touch now. There's still a little bit of warmth there. But yeah, what you're looking for is a nice sort of golden sort of finish, like what we've got on the lid and then inside the camp oven. Um, yeah, it's all seasoned up really well. Quite happy with that. There's a little bit of oil sitting in the bottom, um, but that's not an issue. That'll just be seasoned into the oven next time around. So yeah, all up uh, really happy with it. Um, we obviously got it uh, at Christmas time, the height of the summer and with our um, bushfire conditions and fire restrictions over here in WA, we, we haven't been able to use it until now, so that's why we've got, we've got a trip in a few weeks. Figured I'd um, season it up now, get it ready for the trip, and we're gonna try and go away for that whole weekend and just literally cook from the oven. So cook with the oven, and then we can use the lid as a frying pan, and we will see how we go. Anyway, guys, that wraps up this little uh, guest tutorial video and uh, we'll see you in another one so happy safe adventuring hope you're enjoying the channel and the videos make sure you subscribe if you are make sure you check out our other videos over there for other content anyway happy safe adventuring we'll see you next time